it might have been the tensest moment of the 20 Democratic debates, the questioning last week of Barack Obama about how he had handled an endorsement by Minister Louis Farrakhan. You'll recall Obama said he denounced Farrakhan, and when Senator Clinton said she w he should have rejected the endorsement, Obama then said if she thought reject was a stronger term, he'd reject and denounce. Our third story on the countdown tonight, John McCain has his own version of Farrakhan, maybe Farrakhan supersized, and his response is neither reject nor denounce, but something closer to, what's that, Sonny? Last week, McCain held a public appearance with the televangelist, the Reverend John Hagee, and accepted Hagee's endorsement. This despite Hagee's past comments about, well, you know what, hold that thought for a moment. On Friday, McCain said that Hagee, quote, supports what I stand for and believe in. Today, McCain said, though, it's simply not accurate to say that because someone endorses me that I therefore embrace their views. So what kind of views, what sort of political nuance does McCain not embrace? Hagee on Catholicism, quote, the great whore, a false cult system. On Katrina, quote, New Orleans had a level of sin that was so offensive to God, and they were recipients of the judgment of God for that. Specifically, quote, there was to be a homosexual parade there on the Monday that Katrina came. On women, quote, do you know the difference between a terrorist and a woman with PMS? You can negotiate with a terrorist. And then there was his fundraiser for a school, a slave auction. McCain apparently deciding he needs straight evangelical Protestant whale, uh, white male voters who own slaves and don't live on the Gulf Coast more than he needs anybody else. Let's bring in MSNBC's David Schuster back at Scandal Desk in Washington. David, good evening. Hi, hey, Keith. Senator McCain would seem to be in somewhat deep here. How did he get there and why, uh, through today anyway, does he seem willing to stay there with, uh, with Pastor Hagee? Well, Pastor Hagee leads a, a mega church in San Antonio. His um, broadcasts are seen nationwide by evangelicals, and his followers uh, essentially match up with the demographic of those who are listening to talk radio, including Rush Limbaugh. So the thinking inside the McCain campaign last week is that given that Rush Limbaugh was pummeling John McCain for the apology McCain issued after that uh, Billy Cunningham comments about Barack Hussein Obama, given that talk radio was pummeling John McCain for apologizing for that, thinking inside the McCain campaign is, well, look, let's just go talk uh, and let's appear with, uh, with Reverend Hagee, and that will essentially cauterize the bleeding, staunch the bleeding. Now, given that uh, Catholic organizations, the media are pummeling John McCain for what Hagee has said in the past, the thinking inside the McCain campaign is, well, look, we need to show evangelicals that we can stand up to the media, that we're not going to cave, we're not going to be soft. The irony, Keith, is that some of the media who are condemning John McCain include conservatives who don't like his views. Yeah, how are they going to uh, have that disconnect going that they throw Bill Cunningham under the bus for attacking Obama, but not throw this guy under the bus at any point? If they don't throw him under the bus, he's going to be around the candidate's neck through the campaign, is he not? Is he not just the easiest target imaginable? Well, the distinction the McCain campaign is drawing is they say that there's a big difference, according to the McCain campaign, between what somebody says at a McCain event as compared to what somebody says in their own church or broadcast. And when McCain, when McCain stood by the apology for the attacks on uh, Barack Obama, McCain said he supports the right of people to express their views on their own time at their own forum, just not at a McCain event. So since Hagee didn't repeat his hateful speech or his apocalyptic views while physically standing next to John McCain at a John McCain event, that, according to the McCain campaign, appears to be the distinction. Well, the other quote, of course, can be what McCain said, which is that Hagee supports what I stand for and believe in. That may be more troublesome than any of the Hagee quotes, but while we're talking about Hagee, should we be more concerned, perhaps, about these apocalyptic views that, that a man eagerly anticipating the end of the world calls nuclear war with Iran a certainty, wants McCain's finger on the button, and, you know, implied that he talked to him about Iran a year ago? Yeah, I mean, a lot of Americans agree uh, that, uh, uh, that Iran, armed with nuclear weapons, could be a threat to Israel. The difference, of course, is that Hagee and John McCain have very divergent views about the need to protect Israel. For John McCain, it's because, well, look, Israel is America's best ally in the region. But for Hagee, the idea is, well, let's keep Israel in a position for the apocalypse, and that if Israel is united, the rapture can happen, and all Israelis and members of the Jewish faith who aren't converted can be slaughtered and go directly to hell. I mean, it's all creepy stuff, and again... Even conservatives tonight, Keith, say that this is something that is not going away that John McCain is going to have to address at some point. I think they're right. Uh, MSNBC's <laughs> David Schuster. Thank you, David. Thanks, Keith.